How does one prepare for a full throttle ride aboard a 326 horsepower sport bike? You first blow the cobwebs off aboard a 210 horsepower example of the same basic machine. I'm pretty sure this wasn't the thinking behind Kawasaki Supercharged Ninja H2 and H2R Dynamic Duo, but I certainly appreciated the three 20-minute track sessions on the street legal H2 before slipping into the saddle of the most powerful mass-produced motorcycle on the planet. Kawasaki has a proud performance heritage and is not one to shy from pushing boundaries. For many seasoned enthusiasts. Team the Green's legacy began with the H1 Mach 3 and H2 two-stroke triples of the 1970s. A pair of no-holds-barred rides in their own time, and the bikes these new machines honor and name. While there have been challengers throughout the years, we could always count on a brass knuckles counterpunch from Kawasaki, a company with strong technological roots in aerospace and high-speed rail to name just a few of Kawasaki heavy industries fields of innovation. In fact, the technological resources of several KHI divisions have contributed to the creation of the most outrageously powerful bike ever offered to the public, along with its civilized DPA-compliant H2 counterpart. While many have questioned the rationale behind these machines, you must hand it to Kawasaki for having the balls to the pull-wheel chocks on the winged H2R and let it fly.